If you ever had a dream, and had that dream come true, then you know a little something about the magic of Walt Disney World. The magic of Walt Disney World To fly you to the top of your highest dream Magic of Walt Disney, magic of Walt Disney Forget all your sorrows, tomorrow's better than it seems There's something magical about a parade Little kids and pink lemonade Grown-ups having the best time of their lives There's magic in other things you can do And when you're done and you think you are through you turn around and then there's more than you ever dreamed of The magic of Disney Magic of Disney Magic of Walt Disney World The magic of Walt Disney Magic is magic The year was 1955, when Walt Disney introduced America to a totally new concept in family entertainment. It was called Disneyland, and it was indescribable. Gone was the crazy quilt chaos of the typical amusement park. Instead, guests found themselves surrounded by a land of three-dimensional fantasy. It was like walking onto a movie set, or into a dream. Well, it came about when my daughters were very young, and I... Saturday was always uh, Daddy's Day with the two daughters. So we'd start out and try to go someplace with, you know, different things. And I would take them to the merry ground and I took them different places. And as I'd sit there while they, uh, they rode the merry ground, did all these things, sit on a bench, you know, eating peanuts, I felt that there should be something built, some kind of a, an amusement enterprise built where that the parents and the children could uh, have fun together. So that's how Disneyland started. Well, it took many years. It was a uh, whole period of maybe 15 years developing. The, uh, I started with many ideas, threw them away, started all over again. And eventually it evolved into what you see today as Disneyland. But it all started from a daddy with two daughters wondering where he could take them, where he could have a little fun with them too. But as enchanting and all-encompassing as Disneyland is, in Walt Disney's mind, it inspired an even bigger dream. Already plans were taking shape for an entire family vacation resort. One where guests could not only surround themselves with a magic kingdom, but with acres and acres of vacation fun. After all, if Disneyland's guests could experience the magic of dreams coming true for a few hours, why not for a few days, or a week, or longer? Here in Florida, we have something special we never enjoyed at Disneyland, the blessing of size. There's enough land here to hold all of the ideas and plans we could possibly imagine. Land, 43 square miles of land, a vacation kingdom in the heart of Florida that's become the single most popular resort destination in the world, Walt Disney World. The crowning jewel of Walt Disney World is the Magic Kingdom where the magic of dreams coming true begins. Perhaps you've dreamed of returning to an earlier time, a time of homespun values and simple living. That dream takes shape and surrounds you here on Main Street, USA. What was America like at the turn of the century? Perhaps very much like this recreation of everyone's hometown. The sights and sounds of fond nostalgia are everywhere. There's a friendly greeting at the old city hall, the measured pace of a horse-drawn trolley, and the hiss of live steam 
as a vintage locomotive pulls into Main Street Station. Even the shenanigans of a band of musical firemen. As you make your way down Main Street, it all comes back. There's the old-time cinema, where adventure was a box of popcorn and a Saturday matinee. The Penny Arcade, where a pocket full of change bought hours of fun. And the old ice cream parlor, where double dip cones meant the ultimate in old-time air conditioning. On our main street, the stage is set in front of Cinderella Castle, a focus for the wonder that is the Magic Kingdom. Cinderella Castle is a fairy tale made real. Inside, the Cinderella story is told through over 10,000 individual tiles. Their colors flecked with real gold. The scenes speak of romance, magic, and beautiful dreams all come true. And it all makes a fitting portal to the dreams found in Fantasyland. Here's a land where horses prance majestically on a whirling golden carousel. Where teacups spin in madcap fashion. The Nautilus becomes your vessel and Captain Nemo your host as you embark on a perilous voyage 20,000 leagues under the sea. And you'll think you'll have seen everything when you see Dumbo the elephant fly. In Fantasyland, anything can happen. And happiness is the universal language. Because if you could gather the children of all nations and give them each a message to share, you'd soon realize it's a small world after all. Dreams of the future have tantalized the imagination of poet and scientist alike. And here in Tomorrowland, visitors can catch a glimpse of what the future holds. You might well imagine yourself in the spaceport of some futuristic metropolis, surrounded by examples of the lifestyle of tomorrow. The Wedway People Mover, for instance. It's more than just a novel way to see all of Tomorrowland. It's an innovation in electromagnetic energy-saving transportation. Of course, in this future era, boarding a spacecraft will be as routine as hailing a taxi cab. And here, in Tomorrowland's Space Mountain, visitors come as close as possible to experiencing the thrill of a real race through space. If you'd rather do your racing through straightaways and hairpin curves, Tomorrowland can make that dream come true too. The world of dreams can take many forms. Some project us into mysterious and exotic locales, far away from the everyday. These are the dreams that become real, in Adventureland. You wander past the bazaars and small cafes and make your way down to the boat landing. What lies ahead is anyone's guess. brush with disaster, skillfully avoided on the jungle cruise. From the perils of the jungle to this faraway port of call, Caribbean Plaza is the setting for some of the world's most exotic tropical treasures. Someone mentioned treasure? Beware, the pirates of the Caribbean.
these are the rowdiest rogues ever to sail the high seas, plundering and pillaging as though it were some grand sport. No wonder they sail under the Jolly Roger. The year is 1850 as a proud sternwheeler makes its way up the rivers of America. This is Frontierland, where the spirit of the American pioneer still prevails. Here on the frontier, people worked hard, but they played hard too. Frontier had its own special brand of adventure. Like riding a runaway mine car through the twisting, turning canyons and chasms of the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Of course, Frontierland doesn't represent everything exactly as it was in the old American West. Look what happens when you take a bunch of down-home country bears and touch them with magic. In almost every colonial town, there was one old house, scarcely noticed by day, but carefully avoided by night. It was always ramshackled, seemingly abandoned, and thoroughly rumored to be a haunted mansion. Liberty Square's haunted mansion is just as foreboding. A peculiar chill shivers through you. The hairs on your neck stand straight up, and you feel someone is watching as you hasten past the family plot. The massive open door creaks open. And your host urges you to step lively. Others are just dying to get in. As we leave the ghost host of the haunted mansion, Liberty Square presents a more serious side of our heritage. Perhaps the greatest dream to ever fire the imagination was the dream of a new nation founded in freedom. The birthplace of this dream is recreated in Liberty Square. Here is a vision of colonial life as seen by Paul Revere, Patrick Henry, or Benjamin Franklin. And here, patriots have assembled to reaffirm their faith in liberty and justice for all. And lest these words lose their meaning, lest we forget, these men have gathered, the presidents of the United States, to remind us of the ageless meaning of the word freedom. As a nation of free men, we must live through all time or die by suicide. Surely God would not have created such a being as man with ability to grasp the infinite, to exist only for a day. No. No. Man was made for immortality. The Magic Kingdom is history. 
prophecy, adventure, fantasy, and nostalgia. But it's still only part of the dream called Walt Disney World. Though it takes at least two full days to see all of the Magic Kingdom, the park itself is only a small part of the 43 square mile Walt Disney World Resort Complex. Surrounding the Magic Kingdom, there's a whole vacation kingdom filled with fun things to do. But that doesn't mean you have to drive to where the action is. Just leave the car, grab the kids and go. Because once you're here, just getting around is half the fun. A complete and unique internal transportation system makes it easy to sail, ride, soar, roar, and relax through the whole vacation kingdom. and exciting resort accommodations let visitors enjoy it all in style and add to the total Walt Disney World experience. Guests can stay in the mainstream of tomorrow in the beautiful Contemporary Resort Hotel. Here, the Walt Disney World monorail glides right through the lobby for express service to the Magic Kingdom and other ports of call. Contemporary vacationers enjoy a wide variety of shops, restaurants, and cozy lounges, as well as a breathtaking view of the vacation kingdom. Another stop along the monorail circuit is the Polynesian Village Resort Hotel, a vacation dream in its own right, with all the charm and romance of a remote South Seas hideaway. The Great Ceremonial House is the setting for some of the vacation kingdom's most exotic scenery with sun, water, and greenery surrounding the guest longhouses. Some people prefer a more casual home away from home. Perhaps a secluded villa flanked by whispering pines. Or a lakeshore townhouse. Or even your very own treetop hideaway. Walt Disney World guests have a wide choice of villa accommodations, each designed to make vacation dreams come true. And for those who bring their beds with them, there's the rustic charm of Fort Wilderness Campground Resort. Over 800 campsites are scattered throughout 600 acres of Disney wilderness. You can dream you're a million miles from civilization and a hundred years in the past. But all the comforts of home are right next door to make roughing it easy, Walt Disney World style. A lot of the fun of Fort Wilderness is found right here in River Country. It's a newfangled version of the old swimming hole. And Huck Finn never had it so good. A good portion of the 43 square mile vacation kingdom has been devoted to golf, with not one, but three challenging 18-hole golf courses. Flanking the Walt Disney World Golf Resort Hotel, the Palm Course is rated as one of the 100 best tests of golf in America. And speaking of the 100 best, top players on the PGA Tour gather on the three courses each year for the Walt Disney World National Team Championship Golf Classic. But golf is just one type of Walt Disney World sports challenge. 
We've got sports for all sorts. Some vacationers' idea of recreation means relaxation, pure and simple. Taking in the quiet moments and admiring nature at her best. There is such a corner of the world. Actually, it's an island in the middle of Bay Lake, transformed into a beautiful zoological garden. Discovery Island is a recreation of a tropical rainforest. One such resident is the beautiful Scarlet Ibis, whose numbers are actually increasing here in one of the world's largest walk-through aviaries. Another species in the family way is the beautiful American Flamingo. Here, Discovery Island personnel have reconstructed a tidal pool, similar to that which the Flamingo inhabits in the wild. Even the ebb and flow of the tides is duplicated by pumping water in and out of the lagoon, an important prerequisite for making the flamingo feel at home. These characters and several other bird, mammal, and reptile species thrive and prosper on Discovery Island. And they're happy to share their island home with other Walt Disney World guests. Recreation takes many forms, even window shopping, and Walt Disney World Village is just the place with over 30 shops and restaurants. Ever dine on board a Mississippi riverboat? Well, at the village, you can. The Empress Lily Riverboat Restaurant is a recreation of a 19th century steam-driven riverboat. Your dreams go back to the days when finery was the fashion and mealtime an experience to be savored and remembered. But dinner on board the Empress Lily is just one dining experience unique to Walt Disney World. For those who enjoy special entertainment with their meal, may we suggest a top flight dinner show. Something down home. something a little more exotic. The night holds other wonders as well. For each summer evening and during special holiday events, the incomparable Main Street Electrical Parade forms a dazzling procession of over half a million lights right down Main Street, USA. When dreams come true, it's magic. It's evident here in the smiles, the laughter, the happy faces, the feeling that this is the way the world should be. It's that sense of being young again, no matter what your age. A reminder of a time when anything was possible, and still is. But more than anything else, the magic of Walt Disney World means having the chance to dream again. It's living proof of what can happen when you reach for the stars to make those dreams come true. Your dream.